What's going on guys? My name is Mr. Hurricane and welcome back to the Rodney Rambo Road to Glory series for the first time in a live commentary here as a member of the Arizona State Sun Devils. Rambo comes in as the fourth running back in the depth chart after a successful high school senior season that ended in a state championship. He comes in as the fourth string running back but will be given the opportunity to return kicks and punts right away for the Sun Devils as he looks to make his impression and work his way up the depth chart. We'll take a look at the ratings thus far as I did do a couple practices in the first video I made when he was at college, an edited video, and I did buy two upgrade packages that upgraded his speed a little bit, acceleration, and some of his elusiveness ratings. So he is now an 81 overall, ready to move up the depth chart, hopefully become a starter before the year is over. And for now, just a returner basically, and coming off the bench, we'll see if he gets any snaps in game besides the returns. But first up, it's FCS West trying to go 1-0 on the year as the number 25 Arizona State Sun Devils play their first game on the season with running back Rodney Rambo. Let's get into it. The FCS West Fusion. I like the team. I like the colors. The jersey, not so much. But uh, let's see what Rambo's first opportunity is. This is the first kickoff of the year to open it up. Here it is, guys. Boom! Back deep is Rodney Rambo to kick off the 2013 season out of the end zone. Number 30. Come on, let's find a crease. Makes one guy miss, it looks like a 29 yard return out to the 25 yard line. And so that's the first play in uniform for Rodney Rambo as a member of the Arizona State Sun Devils. And now the offense going to work as they go down and score. And now it's time for a punt return. At least when you're not a starter, you get to play return. So here we go, punt return. First one of the year. First of his career and it goes for one yard. Well, I'm not so sure what the, about this tie game, but it's only in with the first quarter still. It's 7-7. And so Rambo will get a chance here. Oh, he makes a couple guys miss and only out to the 20. This one's for 25 yards. And the offense, 23 yards, 12, 2, 10, going down the field slowly but surely methodically. And it ends in a field goal. And now, the second punt return. Hopefully longer than a yard this time. I think we're going to be able to do that at least. Uh, actually, yes, two yards. It was longer. And now they call the punt block play. So maybe I'll have a better chance of getting some yards this time. We'll see. Looks pretty good from here. Only one guy coming down on this right side. We're going left. No, we're going to go right. Juke. Do something. Ten yards. That's better. This is interesting. They're attempting a field goal to end the first half. But this is a long one. They're the 38-yard line. That's a 55-yard attempt. And Rambo could return it. You gotta be kidding me. The FCS kicker can boot it 60 yards? I really thought that I was gonna have a chance to take that field goal back. You gotta be kidding me. These guys have legs made of steel. Alright, punt return time again. 24-7. to seven. Follow the blocks. And down after a gain of 7. That was kinda lackluster. And we jump now into the fourth quarter. Only a 10-point lead for Arizona State, but it's still a lead. And now I guess it's going to be lead blocking time for Rodney Rambo. And whoops. That's... Wow. And that's it for the first game. There was no after-game celebration or anything. I literally hit square to sim until I was in the game again. The game ended, and here we are. So, kick returns. That's all it was in the first game. That's all I expected. I mean, he's a fourth string running back. If they're going to put any backups in the game, it was going to be the second and third guys, and it wasn't a blowout, so it wasn't going to happen that way. And here are the stats as the running game never really got opened up for the Sun Devils today. 14 for 70 for Marion Grice. In the return game, Rambo finishes with two kick returns for 54 yards, average of 27 a return, and four punt returns for 19 yards. So six touches in his first game, and now perhaps a position battle. Welcome to week three, as we do see the position battle is there for Rodney Rambo, and a very tough game this week against the Wisconsin Badgers. That one could be interesting, but first things first, position battle time. We have once again invaded the Nike Spark facility as I have to get 500 points with Rambo to beat out Lewis. I don't know his first name, I'm sorry. I have learned this roster and this offense, especially once they get thrust into actual playing time during a game. But hopefully this wouldn't be sh shouldn't be too hard. I have 15 reps, I think it was more in the past, but I like that it's 15. The draw up the middle. There we go. Break a couple tackles. Not bad. There's some power in there. 127. Need a big run here to get over the halfway mark. And oh my god, I that sucked. And they better throw it to me. 
No option. You can't go to anybody else. Okay, I made the catch. That helped. That is a good boost. Five plays to go. Running out of time. Rambo. Oh, staying on his feet. Not a bad run there. 373 with three to go. Not looking good. No, no, no. Hand off. Rambo. Uh oh! I thought he had it. Doesn't have the speed to get there. So this is it, guys. 67 points required on a screen. Run the route for me. Make the catch. Come on. I need it. Come on. How close am I? I got it on the last play. Thank you. Thank you very much. Number three on the depth chart for Rodney Rambo. Step one. Complete. Third string attained. And now we play the Wisconsin Badgers. This will not be an easy test against the Wisconsin Badgers. They're a very good team from the Big Ten. Let's see if Rodney Rambo can provide a spark in the return game. Opening things up, it's a boot deep. Rambo, we probably should not take this one out. Got played smart this time. For the good of the team, touchbacks to the NCAA go out to the 25-yard line. And so uh, it would have to be like a 30-something yard return. You don't bank on that. So, first drive for Arizona State results in no points as well as... Okay, now we got field goal block coming up. 3-0 Wisconsin. And now Rambo has a chance to return from the 1. Here we go. The wall set up on the right. Ah, can't make anybody miss out to the 24. And now a 57-yard field goal attempt for Wisconsin after a stalled drive by Arizona State. This could be returnable. And I can't even see the marker. Oh, he did not make it off the crossbar. We skip forward in the second quarter, 3.44 to go as Rambo return a punt. It's still 3-0 Badgers, so a low-scoring close game. Let's get that spark we need, Rodney. Outside. Nope, we're going to go this way. Broken tackle, cut from behind, an 11-yard return. And we skip forward, 7-6 Arizona State as they tacked on a touchdown following Rambo's punt. And Rambo takes his kick out to the 28-yard line on a return of about 28 yards. Okay, one second left in the first half. A kick return touchdown here would give us a lead with the extra point. So uh, let's just see what happens here. Rambo, a cut, and his longest return, a 34-yarder, goes out of bounds. And so that's the end of the first half. And look at that. 14-13 Arizona State on top. Rodney Rambo return the kick again. Here we go. Oh, no, he muffed it. That's the first fumble of his career as he muffs the punt and recovers it. Oh, my. Look what's happening here. 28-13. to 13, Arizona State knocks off Wisconsin. We are a strong team. No carries, not yet. We're only third string. Some decent returns and another victory over Wisconsin. Not bad, Sun Devils. Moving things along now to week four as another position battle is in place for Rodney Rambo. Can he become number two? I'll say it was kind of lucky in the first position battle, and so hopefully with a much smoother 15 reps this time, we can get that 500 points again. I'm surprised it's the same amount, too, as he breaks a tackle and fights. All right, that's a nice seven. This was the play that got it for us in the first position battle. This, what the hell was that? All right, don't do that again. Please, just hit the screen. Boom, Rambo, catch, blocks, yards. That's all we want right here. Nicely done. That's half, over half, perfect. I've noticed in these practices a lot more that I'm getting a lot of opportunities to like stay on my feet. I, I'm not used to the stumble thing yet with the right stick, but I'm going to get used to it eventually. Come on, no more negative runs, no more zero-yard gains. This is what we want right here. This could be very close. 492. Basically, I need like two yards to win this battle now. And here they are. And nobody gets juked out or anything, but the position battle has been won. It hasn't taken long, and Rodney Rambo is now the second string running back. And it might not be too long before he's thrust into the starting role, but he could get some touches now in this game, and perhaps if they run a split running back look, he'll be in the game as well. But, number four, Stanford. This one's going to be tough. Not only will this game be tough, but it's also going to be in the rain. Now, I'm interested to see how many touches Rodney Rambo gets. We want the football. Yes, we do. 
And will he still be the returner? I believe so. First Pac-12 game of the season is underway. It's going to be Rodney Rambo out of the end zone, and we're taking it up across the 10. Let's get to the 25 at least. Oh, he lost the football, and it looks like he recovered it. Arizona State got their touchdown. That's big against a team like Stanford here in the opening stages of the game. And this return goes up to the 41. And look what's happening here. Arizona State up 17-3 over the Stanford Cardinal. And returning the punt is Rodney Rambo at the 15. Give us those blocks. Oh, my goodness. Only a one or two yard gain. It's about to happen. Rodney Rambo's first ever play from scrimmage. It's a split shotgun look like I thought we might see a little bit of. He'll be receiving out of the backfield. It's thrown his way. Pass is caught. Stays in bounds. And Rambo has the first down. And that's how it starts for Rambo. His first catch is made before his first ever carry. And a nice first down catch is made. Not bad at all. That was play number one. And now we're going to get play number two on the same exact play call. And now at the 25-yard line, Taylor Kelly back to throw. Rambo's open again. But this time the pass does not go to him and it's an incompletion. That last drive for Arizona State did end in a touchdown still as it's 24-3. What a game we're having so far against Stanford. They have come out flat. And Rambo's already got his first catch. It's exciting. And now on the punt return. Oh, boy. Way too many red jerseys. In the second half, Stanford cuts the lead a little bit. Now it's 24-6. to But Rambo from the goal line. Ah, this guy's in my way. Go past him. Up across the 30. Not a bad return. And Stanford now marches down the field. They're going to make it an 11-point game. They'll not go for two with this extra point. Uh-oh. 24-21 to 21 here in the fourth quarter. Stanford is coming back. We have to silence them. Rambo. Oh, let's go to the right side now. Oh, my God. 24-yard return. Trying to make it a six-point game. 24-21. to 21, And now 27-21. to 21. And come on, guys. This hold them a little bit longer. I'm sorry guys, I should have showed the defense when there was only like a minute left to go in the game and Stanford was trying to go down the field, I'm sorry with that. But, this game is going to end with an Arizona State victory, another win, this time over number 4 Stanford. This should give us a very nice surge into the, maybe the top 15. There it is, Arizona State is victorious, 3-0, unstoppable so far, 27-21 is your final, still no after game celebration, I thought we were going to get one this time, but Rambo did get his first catch for 11 yards, and so that is the beginning of Rodney Rambo's college career here at Arizona State, first three games in the books, Arizona State is 3-0, now number 17 in the nation, Rambo did see a little bit of playing time on offense as the number two running back. He did get one touch, an 11-yard catch. And so soon, perhaps the starter role will be his. But next up is USC in Week 5. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back next time with more Rodney Rambo, Road to Glory.